Hi everybody, welcome back to Beauty by Rena. So today I am going to be showing you my skincare routine. So yes, I have had a lot of difficulty battling acne throughout my whole teenage life. Like, it got to a point where it was so bad that like the face washes that I was using and the regular um, topical, ac topical acne solutions from the drugstore wasn't really working for my acne. So I ended up um, consulting a dermatologist around the age of like... I would say 16, 17 ish. Um, they gave me some prescribed drugs that you can't get over the counter. Um, and there were things like tretinoin, benzomycin. Uh, they're, they're, I'll explain some of them that I still use to this day, but they were very chemically based. And a lot of the times when you go to the dermatologist, they'll end up prescribing you things that your skin will be very dependent on, and without them, your skin cannot battle acne as actively as it used to. So being that I was on prescribed drugs from the age of 16, 17, um, I, there was a point in time where I didn't want to rely on chemically based products. I wanted to go the more organic route and use like natural oils and um, African black soap and things like that that I saw YouTubers doing because I thought it would work for me. But uh, as soon as I got off of the drugs that they prescribed me, when I say drugs, I don't mean like pills, I mean like topical solutions. So yeah, once I got off of the drug that they prescribed me, my acne started to get way, way, way worse. When I was younger, I used to get acne here and acne here. That was it. It was kind of like my forehead was very, very... My forehead was darker than the rest of my face because I had a lot of dark spots. As you can see, some of them that are still there right now. But um, that was all I really battled as a teenager. But after going off of the prescribed drugs that they gave me, my skin was way worse. I was breaking out in things I have never broken out before. I was getting um, horrible acne here and here. Some of my cheek area, which I have never gotten before. I got some under here. And like the worst was my forehead. I would get like three pimples on top of each other, back to back to back. And as you may know, like, dealing with acne is such a big insecurity. When you have acne, you start to develop insecurities. So, of course, having pimples all over my face, I was very, very insecure. And this happened very recently. Um, when I was around 19, 20 is when my acne started to get the worst. And they always say as you grow older, like, it gets a little bit better. But no, it was literally the worst around my 19 and 20. And, um... I was still trying to battle it using natural products. I was using the, the what is it called? The spin brush that everybody vouches for. I was using African black soap that everybody vouches for. I was using um, apple cider vinegar, everything. And those things were great at battling my current acne, but it did not prevent acne from coming up. My skin is very, very sensitive. So using the spin brush was not a goal for me. Like I used to use a spin brush every day, but I didn't use the exfoliator. I used a softer brush as people as people were suggesting and it got to the point where my skin was rubbed so raw that it looked literally like rubber. If I have a clip, I will insert it. I will insert clips of how my acne used to be and everything, but my skin literally was like plastic because of how much I was using that brush and it got to the point where I developed blisters on my face um, I'm not sure if I have a photo of that because I wasn't trying to take photos at that point in time but I eventually ended up developing blisters from overusing that spin brush so I got off the spin brush I went back to my dermatologist and I asked her um, what was the main drug that I keep saying drug it's not so bad what was the main acne prescription that she gave to me that was like battling my acne and would keep it away and she told me it was tretinoin and she also prescribed to me Clindomycin, um, phosphate, I think it's called. I'm if I'm messing it up, I'll pr I promise you it'll be referenced later on in my video. But um, and benzoyl peroxide. So she prescribed me those three things. She said that the only thing that my skin was probably very addicted to was the tretinoin, and she like encouraged that I continue using it, which is understandable. Like I got myself in it already. I need to continue use with it. So. I always continue using my tretinoin solution. Um, one thing that I realized though, 
I had to switch up my acne routine as well. So I, you'll see later on in this video how I switched things up from how I previously used to do it. I used to wash my face twice a day with the spin brush, with um, with African black soap, and a bunch of other things. When I completely switched it up, it has helped me battle upcoming acne. Like. I got rid of my acne scars that I previously had, I got rid of all the acne that I previously had, and now I can transition into using the tretinoin only when I need it, so my skin is not as dependent on it. And a big a big factor of that, I say later on in the video, which I know I keep saying, but just watch the video and you'll find out all the secrets to how I got my skin clear again. Um, I also have another video about a face mask that I use actively, I use it either every two weeks or once a month and it is like a blessing when it comes to cleaning my pores exfoliating my face and making sure that like the active acne that i have is dried out so i really really suggest you watch my previous video and i will you know you can get up there so that you can click on it but yeah if you have any other questions anything that i missed anything that i may have missed in my video or any clarification that you may want please leave a comment down below and i will try to get back to you as fast as i can because i want to help whoever may be battling the same thing that I am and like I hope that whatever I'm showing you will work for you if many other things haven't worked so definitely let me know if you have any questions and other than that I hope you stay tuned for the rest of the video love you oh I also forgot to say that today I have mm, I also forgot to say that today I have minimal makeup on i have a little bit of concealer eyebrows and mascara and i am forever thankful that i have gotten to this point even though i still am like battling breakouts but as you can see they are literally drying out because of like my acne routine that i'm currently going through so like i said before make sure you stay tuned definitely listen to my tips and tricks or if anybody has any tips and tricks for anyone else who may be dealing with acne definitely leave them down below so that we can check them out and try them out and i hope you all have a wonderful day routine a little bit because it gets kind of confusing I had a dermatologist well I still do have a dermatologist that I went to in order to get rid of my acne and my um my hyperpigmentation and she prescribed me clindamycin phosphate which is a topical solution it is a prescribed drug so your doctor would have to prescribe it to you in order for you to get it um it comes in one percent I mean I got it in one percent and I basically use this as my night toner. I just put it over the areas where I have breakouts. And I only put it on at night because it tends to be a little bit harsh when it comes in contact with the sun. So when you put this on, try to stay away from harsh lighting and sunlight, which is why I put it on at night. Another thing that she prescribed to me, which I 
if you can get your dermatologist to prescribe this, I recommend this to every single person dealing with acne. So, I'm going to let you know what it is. I have used mine out. It is like really, really used out. But that's because it is the best I have ever used for getting rid of dark marks and acne. It is called Tretinoin. And I'll put, out this, put the spelling of it down here so you all can look into it. It has been amazing when it comes to getting rid of my acne. It's the only reason why my skin is clear right now. Um, so I wanted to talk to you all about this and definitely recommend this. Another thing I'm going to bring up, which I didn't really mention in the beginning. In the past, when I stopped using this, I realized that my breakouts came back like 10 times stronger. So I got back on it, which is kind of bad because your skin is dependent on it, but it's I don't know how to explain it, but it's it's very good with long-term use and getting rid of acne. So, since mine is like almost used out and it's kind of expensive, I've been using a little bit of it a day whenever I get a breakout or whenever I have hyperpigmentation. And in order to battle and keep my acne away without constantly using this, I have been using the Body Shop. This is a Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Clarifying Mattifying Toner. This has been so good at keeping my acne at bay. And I know it's this because I have previously been using everything else in my acne routine and it has not been able to combat my acne. This has been the only product that has really kept away my acne and I strongly vouch for it. So if any of you are looking for a good toner to combat acne, I've heard a lot about witch hazel, but if you are going to be using tretinoin, witch hazel and tretinoin do not go good together. I would not recommend that. That's why I use this as a toner. And it has been really good at combating acne. I also got it from TJ Maxx for only $9. This bottle, what? Before I had the sample size, before I tried this out so that I can figure out if I really wanted to use it. But then I had to purchase this big bottle. And I only got it for $9 in TJ Maxx. So I'm putting you on to a deal. So yes, these are my main acne fighting items. Even though the face washes help and the oils that I use help. These three are like my top like go-to when it comes to combating acne. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I use these two at night. Another thing that I want to mention that I've been using to combat little breakouts, so as soon as I get like a pimple, what I'll do is I'll take benzoyl peroxide, which has also been prescribed to me by my dermatologist, but you can find this in different brands like Clean and Clear and um, Neutrogena. They, all, they often have spot treatments that contain benzoyl peroxide, and benzoyl peroxide is very good for battling acne spots. Benzoyl peroxide is very good for on-the-spot treatment, literally, which literally means you take a little bit on your finger and put a dot on your acne and leave it there overnight. And when you wake up in the morning, of course, you'll wash your face and, you know, wash it off. But mm -hmm. 